Good morning, Ralph E. Hartman here, right in candidate for Congress on the roadside of Beneva again. Uh, a few minutes ago, a little while ago, I was uh, working on a, a something else when uh, I decided maybe I should hurry uh, to mention about something. Uh, I was, uh, as I worked on uh, excerpting from a report originating in uh, July of uh, 2010, uh, 2011, uh, an old man sounding like and portraying himself as being the former step, stepfather, Bill Love, got into north of here traffic sound again. Again, he was wanting to announce being some other uh, secret conspiring. And what he said was, I know it sounds kind of ridiculous and it'll be kind of irritating, but he alleged being in some way an origin of the uh, progression that became uh, uh, Elon Musk and Tesla and SpaceX. Uh, saying that he had in some way got with starting something to pivot on a, uh, a stupid uh, prank call of mine from uh, during high school back in about during high school in about uh, 1972 in Sebring. Uh, it was a there wasn't I didn't I didn't mean anything about it at all. Uh, like I mentioned before that there have been some uh, uh, I learned that if you make a person to person call to somebody that you don't talk, actually talk to that you don't get charged for the call but you get to hear all the other indications of uh, making a, a, an overseas call. So I, I made a few, a couple or a few calls to uh, the Prime Minister of the UK, and also one time I was thinking, where else is, uh, is for sure an English speaking? And so I made a, a call to the uh, Prime Minister of Rhodesia on one occasion. Uh, at the time, I think the man's name was Ian Smith. So anyway, uh, you know, it was just a brief, uh, 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 call didn't mean anything by it at all, you know. And uh, uh, one thing I did learn by it, though, however, is that the operator said that there that uh, 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 phone lines in the northern part of their country were down because of some kind of guerrilla activity at the time. So anyway, uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly, Love is alleging that he he made some kind of conspiratorial progression to uh, pivoting on me, but one time making a prank call to Rhodesia. So anyway, he wanted to cite. Uh, 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 Elon Musk, and I don't know any details other than that, other than the concern immediately started. Oh no, you know, what if, uh, you know, what if they're wanting to, uh, what if they're starting to trying to start some kind of a war, you know, uh, subversively including a progression of uh, SpaceX? I don't know, and I'm not saying any accusation. I don't have any uh, information about it, but certainly seeing so many of his rockets. Uh, Exploded near the Mexican border and was designed looking kind of like sci fi from the uh, you know, 1950s or even before, uh, kind of got me worried. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to abbreviate this and I'm including uh, some of the report I've been working on uh, uh, from the 2011 uh, re uh, report. Uh, it was a, it's a concern against uh, the possibility of nuclear war and. Uh, it started partly starts from an uh, unexpected instance in Denver back in early 1992. I had visited uh, Cherry Creek Mall. Uh, I had been encouraged uh, back then by some nice, pretty ladies for a little bit of nervous uh, showing, and I had visited a, uh, a, a particular store in the Cherry Creek Mall uh, without any intent of offending the lady. But as I walked away. Uh, a creepy guy named Jimmy Rusa broke into the lady's uh, register uh, saying an obscene comment, and, well, I ended up being arrested. So anyway, it was a minor offense, but I ended up being put into the, uh, into the jail. And while, while there, uh, 30 days, while there, I was, uh, I've noticed a Christian Science Monitor magazine that I looked through and discovered a, a worry uh, that there's a map that shows the United States on one side of a page and the continent of Africa on the other side of the page. But when held up to a light, the editorial placement makes it look like a, uh, a gigantic man is standing on one, with one foot on the east coast of the U.S., the other foot on the west coast. Uh, and the darkened, angled map of the other side, of this, that side of the page blackens out all of the United States, except for the uh, uh, Los Angeles area, Florida, and the border area. So anyway, I worried about it because the uh, 1880s uh, illustration that uh, uh, that uh, the blackened uh, continent of Africa uh, uh, was uh, from, or, or was, it was a it was a portrayal of an 1880s etching. Uh, 
uh, featured a man named Cecil Rhodes, uh, who had been a, a British uh, business tycoon who basically controlled the diamond trade during his, uh, his time in the, near the end of the 1800s, and who became prime minister of South Africa uh, for a time uh, starting in 1890 through uh, 1896. So anyway, in the etching, though, without knowing uh, who he was at first, that he, the man shown wore, wore a mustache that became kind of infamous by the advent of Adolf Hitler, uh, who had been born in uh, 1889. Uh, and basically, the man resembles Hitler. Uh, so to me, the uh, particular editorial placement on the Christian Science Monitor indicated some kind of a, of a, of a nuclear threat at the United States uh, that was involving some kind of Hitler conspiracy. So anyway, I worried about it and remembered the matter. I don't remember exactly which particular monitor it was. So anyway, soon after that, I detailed about my progression to uh, uh, 92 and uh, and back to Florida. And uh, concern, another concern that uh, I, I considered possibly relevant is uh, Tom Clancy's book uh, originating in 1991 by the name of The Sum of All Fears. Uh, during that time I was in Denver and a loud crescendo, a menacing crescendo was at me all the time from traffic sounds. And uh, uh, detail was that in the book, a terrible tragedy occurs at Mile High Stadium uh, when a nuclear device uh, in a novel, a fiction novel, uh, 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 smuggled in from somewhere in the former Soviet Union blows up at Mile High Stadium during a Super Bowl game. Well, we know what kind of worries uh, were actually happening uh, during those days and since, and hope that there, I hope, that, of course, that there won't be any new worries. So anyway, I continue to detail, and uh, uh, I'm worried that there might actually be conspiracy. And uh, I also note that another Clancy book uh, originating in 93, uh, titled Submarine, an actual nonfiction uh, concludes with a sixth chapter that includes the title of The End of History. Uh, you know, that's really kind of an ominous uh, title. Uh, of course, uh, you, the, its use in the book was perhaps meant to uh, describe the advent of the uh, nuclear ballistic missile submarines as being the end of the evolution of the development of submarines, but is portrayed as the end of history, and people should be worried. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this. This, of course, continuing to be always uh, only for peace and uh, hoping everyone's going to be all right. Thanks for your consideration. I hope everyone's having a good day.